presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders claims to be a democratic socialist who wants America to be more like Sweden, Denmark and Norway. He wants America to look more like Scandinavia. That's right. And what's wrong with that? But is honest Bernie telling you the truth? In 2014, Sanders endorsed longtime Communist Party supporter Chewy Garcia's bid for the Chicago mayoralty. Sanders spoke alongside Scott Marshall, a leader of the Chicago Communist Party. In the early 1960s, Bernie Sanders studied at the University of Chicago. There he joined the Marxist Young People's Socialist League and worked for the Communist Party-led Packing House Workers Union. In 1963, Sanders traveled to Israel as a guest of the pro-Soviet Hashemur Hitzat Youth Organization. Sanders worked on the Sha'ar Hamakim Kibbutz, a pro-Stalin communal farm near Haifa. The kibbutz's co-founder, Aharon Cohen, had been jailed in 1958 for spying against Israel for the Soviet Union. By 1972, Sanders had moved to Vermont, where he became active in the far-left Liberty Union Party. In 1980, Sanders backed the presidential campaign of Andrew Pulley, a leader of the pro-Cuba Socialist Workers' Party. In 1985, while serving as mayor of Burlington, Vermont, Bernie Sanders celebrated the sixth anniversary of the pro-Soviet Sandinista takeover of Nicaragua. While in Nicaragua, Sanders attended a huge anti-US rally in downtown Managua. Bernie Sanders visited the Soviet Union on his honeymoon. In 1988, Sanders and his new bride honeymooned in the then Soviet Union, which at the time was still threatening the United States with nuclear annihilation. Sanders negotiated to make Burlington a sister city of Yaroslavl, a satellite town of Moscow. Could you imagine if you visited Nazi Germany before the war ended and then you're going to run for president here? You don't think there'd be questions? What are you doing visiting the enemy, you know? In 1989, Sanders traveled to communist Cuba where he unsuccessfully tried to meet with communist leader Fidel Castro. He later praised Castro for his wonderful government-run health care. Just because Ronald Reagan dislikes these people does not mean to say that the people in their own nations feel the same way. The same year, Bernie Sanders addressed the 10th anniversary celebrations of the Communist Party-controlled U.S. Peace Council, the American affiliate of the Soviet-dominated World Peace Council. Sanders spoke alongside such democratic socialists as Decima Williams from Grenadian President Morris Bishop's pro-Castro New Dual movement, and with Zedi Tertsi, a representative of Yasser Arafat's terrorist Palestine Liberation Organization. In his first congressional race, Bernie Sanders received the endorsement of journalism icon I.F. Stone. Stone was at the time a supporter of America's largest Marxist organization, Democratic Socialists of America. Stone praised Sanders for his pragmatic socialism. Stone would later be identified as a former longtime Soviet spy. I have Stone, a Soviet agent of influence. We have all the evidence. We've got his FBI file, the file on Stone. We've got the testimony of a former of Soviet operatives like Oleg Kalugin, who talked about I. F. Stone's service uh, to the old KGB. Democratic Socialists of America support the theories of Karl Marx, Italian Communist Party leader Antonio Gramsci, and call for the complete government control of all business. Bernie Sanders has worked with Democratic Socialists of America for decades. They even funded and supported his first successful Senate race in 2006. A prominent Sanders supporter is Washington, D.C. Democratic Socialists of America leader Kurt Stand. Stand was recently released from a federal penitentiary after serving a 17-year sentence for spying on America for the former Soviet Union and Communist East Germany. Democratic Socialists of America are now effectively running Sanders' presidential campaign. Labour for Bernie is run by longtime DSA comrade Rand Wilson. And People for Bernie is run by fellow DSA'er Charles Lynchner. But the Marxists have deliberately tried to keep their involvement hidden.
from the American public. The communists never revealed themselves to be communists. Bernie Sanders is no more democratic or honest than his lifelong hero, Fidel Castro. We are not communists.